Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you how to make a stopwatch that already s sort of started here in Visual Basics. Um, it looks like this, it has hour, minutes, and seconds with a start, which starts it, uh, stop, which stops it, and reset, which resets it. Very simple. Uh, I'll go ahead and start over. And I'll name it YouTube Tut. <sighs> make it fairly small. Add three buttons. A timer. Whoops. Timer. And three label labels. Here we go. Okay. Now we're just gonna lay stuff out here. Um uh, make these fairly bigger. Size this a little because it's a little small. Okay, now we can just change this. Label 1 is going to be seconds, level 2 is going to be minutes, and label 3 is going to be hours. Um, let's go ahead and change the text of everything. So we'll have bottom 1 to be. Where's it? Text. Start. Um, button 2 will be stop. Button 3 will be reset. Label 1, text wall. It will start at as 0. And so we'll label 2. And so we'll label 3. Okay. Now, these are fairly small, so we're going to have to go to the font, which is right here. I browse and change it to 14. Maybe, no. Uh, 24 should be good. Pretty big, you can see it. In the middle, maybe? I'm somewhere in the middle. And, whoops, my bad. Change this to 24 also. And then lastly, we gotta change this. Okay, now I just have to arrange everything to our likings. And there we go. That seems fairly good. Now, to. This is really all you need. I mean, you can pimp it out a little if you want, add stuff. But basically, that's all you need. We're going to start off with the simple, which is start, which is, um, uh, blah, 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 timer one dot enabled equal true. Basically means that it starts timer one to start ticking. Also, the interval for timer one has to be at a thousand for one second. Uh, so every second it would tick like a timer would, and then stop would be timer one dot enabled equal false, which stops the timer from ticking at the one second thing, and reset. Whoops. Reset would be timer one dot enabled equal false, then label one dot text equal zero. And now label two dot text equals zero and last label three dot text equals zero. Basically this command stops the timer and resets everything back to zero. Well at least at least you can see zero. Now the last one is probably the hardest one to comprehend which is timer. Um every time it ticks it's going to send the command of label one dot text will be equal is going to be um the label one dot label one dot text pl plus one and that shouldn't give anything else and then one if command if label one dot text equal in parentheses 60 
then um, label one dot text equals zero, and then label two dot text equal label two dot text plus one, and that command will um, make it so then every time the first label, which is the seconds, is 60, then the second label, oops, my bad, the second label, um, no, it's supposed to be one, what am I doing? And then, so then the second label resets to zero, and the second, I mean, the first label resets back to zero, then the second label goes up one from what it already was, and then we just need the same command for label two and three. But not for three, because the hours can go on to infinity. If label two dot text equal um, equals sixty in parentheses, then we want label two dot text to equal zero, and then label three dot text to equal what it already is, which is label three dot text plus one. It's very not confusing, if, if that makes sense. It's pretty simple to under, understand for a beginner. And we this should run without er error, I'm hoping. So we're going to start, I'm going to wait a minute. And every second it goes up by one, the right one. As you can see, it's going up very smoothly. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> I'm not going to count. But... This should run smoothly right now, but I have to wait to make sure that it does, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to put this video out if it doesn't work, which is going to look retarded. So I hope this works, and the only thing that I hate about making sure if this works is that you have to wait a minute every time unless you put the interval to 6,000, or I mean 60,000, which is basically it goes a minute um, each tick. But that would, I don't know. It would, I don't know. On, it would have to. Well, anyway, I'm getting wrapped up in thinking while this is going. My bad. And there we go. That works. So that means that technically, the same the same thing should happen when label two, or the minute hand gets to sixty, which was an hour, which I can't wait because of YouTube time. Unless I recorded it and fast forwarded it, but. I mean, it it really should work. I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. Just re let's review your code, and stop works, and so does reset. And I just wanted to go ahead and make sure that this is enabled equal false. Yes, make sure that timer one enabled is false, which it should be at default, because that makes it so it's off when you start it. Otherwise, when you start up the stopwatch, it would start up and it would be already ticking. I mean, unless you want that to happen. You can also rename this the form itself to stopwatch and it will go there. But review your code, it's pretty much the same code. It's so if it's label two equals sixty, then label two dot text equals zero, which resets that back to zero. And Label three dot text equal that plus one. So of course this makes sense. It will work. It is a very simple code. I mean, there's nothing that hard to understand about it. I will post all the codes on the description if you have a hard time figuring it out following this tutorial. But again, it's a very simple code that anyone should be able to figure out in a matter of minutes, maybe half hour if you're a really big beginner. But simple code, and I hope that this tutorial gave you some help if you're a beginner. And hope you can see what you can make on Visual Basics. Okay, bye.